Also breaking right now, we're waiting to find out if a body that's been found in the San Jacinto River is a person who went overboard during a recent boat crash in East Harris County. The crash happened over the weekend. Two other people were injured. Channel 2's Kathy Hernandez joins us live with the newest developments. Kathy? Good morning. Just in the last 30 minutes, the district attorney's office filed a felony murder charge against the driver of that boat. It was just hours ago they discovered the missing man's body. So, always relieved that we could find a body because at least the family could have a proper burial. And, you know, that's always our focus. And After hours of searching, Texas game wardens patrolling the San Jacinto River found a body close to the bank at about 630 this morning. The officers that made the recovery observed some um, trauma that was visible. The body was near where a boat crashed in the Rio Villa neighborhood Sunday night. Proximity, um, the description uh, fits the person that we're looking for. Investigators say that man was riding in a bass boat when the driver, 42-year-old Galan Ruiz, took a sharp right turn and hit a bulkhead or retaining wall. Ruiz and his girlfriend were hospitalized. The other man was missing until today. It's still an ongoing investigation. Uh, it's a criminal investigation. So uh, we're still working closely with the, the Harris County Sheriff's Office and the Harris County District Attorney's Office to determine what the next steps are as far as uh, any possible charges uh, to follow. The DA's office initially charged Ruiz with intoxication assault for driving the boat drunk. This is an old mugshot. Now he's facing an additional felony murder charge. Prosecutors say Ruiz has two previous DWI convictions. And investigators did look at surveillance video of the crash for help in this investigation. Right now, Ruiz and his girlfriend are still hospitalized. They're, they're both in stable condition. Reporting live in East Harris County, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.